On the exterior, we're going to cover this very quickly so everybody can get their opinions of what it is, but I'm just going to show you what's changed and the idea behind it. Front end, all new from the hood line down. It's a new thin upper grill. You also have a mid, but a lower, bigger, bolder trapezoid of grill you notice on the front end compared to current. You also have standard skid plate garnishes front and rear now. Headlamp assemblies change. Ultimately, the front, when you look at it, is going to be a little bit more what we call keen. Or it also has a wider stance, too. The panels that wrap around are meant to give it a wider stance on the front. The headlights, really quickly, they're going to be all new for all grades. SE and above receives LED illumination, the high beams, the low beams, and integrated DRLs. Now, the lenses on this, on the limited and SE, are identical. It's not like a SE Sienna where you get a smoked lens. So, just so you know, it's all the same lenses, but SE and limited get LEDs. The side, very quickly on this one. Customers like the side profile of our vehicle, but when we listen to some of their comments, they're like, the front end sort of dips more like a passenger car stance. Not so much of what they would think for an SUV these days in this segment as it's evolving. So what we've done, the engineers listen to that, they've raised the hood line up. So the reason I show you is just so you can see where the difference is in your press kits and when you see it's in the car. The front end has actually been raised up to give it a more truck-like, more strong SUV look. And I think it did do a nice improvement to it. It's subtle, but you can definitely tell. So it raises that front end up. The back, that new raised end carries through the belt line, carries into the new head or tail lamp assemblies. Tail lamp assemblies are all new. Again, just like the headlamps, these are LED tail lamps on SE and above, or the SE and the Limited. This colored section right here, I want you to pay attention to when we switch over. So our current versus our new. Customers did like the back end of the car, but a few feedback items were received were that it's a little bit too much black clad and black molding. So what we've done is we've removed some of the black cladding from the lower bumper or the rear bumper. The upper portion is now color schemed to the body of the car. Customers also said that they thought the lift gate could have more dimension to it, a little bit more character. So we've added a garnish to the back, which ties in the bumper assembly now. Ultimately, it's to raise up the back end or the horizontal axis of the rear of the vehicle. So that's a different stance. That skid plate garnish, again, just like the front, is now standard on all grades. Small item, the roof fin uh, shark antenna, or the, shark, the roof mounted shark fin antenna is now standard on all instead of a pole antenna. The wheels, all new wheels from LE up. Everything re receives something new. LE receives wheel caps that are painted now, or contrast painting on them. The rest receive all new alloy wheels. On the interior, so much like, well, tomorrow you're going to see the Prius, and that's an all new car, all new in the inside. For the RAV, I want to show you everything that's been touched on what's themed a minor model change. Current is up top, new is on the bottom. Everything with color um, on the top has been touched or redesigned, even on a minor model change. So let's go through some of those. The new instrumentation, and this shows the Limited and the XLE up top, it has the SE down low because it has more of red dial indicators for the SE. Ultimately, all new instrumentation, XLE and above. The MID that you see in the center is also new. Much like our Sienna, our Highlander, our Camry, this is a 4.2 inch full color multi-information display. What's new about it, and on RAV4 especially, is that more of our safety systems and vehicle adjustments are now built into this MID as well as the new four-way switch under steering wheel. So no longer do you have as many hard buttons on the dash to turn systems on and off. More of it's integrated for a cleaner appearance. So take a look at that today when you see it, especially the last menu in that MID. Another thing on here is customers like the interior, but they wanted more premium feeling. They wanted to get rid of some plastic. So we changed the mid-dash to soft touch material on all grades. This upper portion of this other green dot is the upper armrest. So on XLE and above, there's more soft touch padding on the armrest. And that's something our customers were asking for. I ask you to look at that and compare it to even some of the other competitors in this segment is how much plastic and how hard it may feel. This one ultimately has a lot more soft touch material than ever. Interior colors, all in the kit, but I'll just go over what's new mainly. New cinnamon and new nutmeg, tan and beige. These are all out there for you, for you to look at, so you can take a look at them today. The ornamentation, customers did like our interior, but they felt it might have been a little bit out of date, a little too much contrast in the material colors that we were offering. So the engineers went back and standardized 
So at this point, almost all of the trim materials in the car are matte black and silver to make it more premium look. The one difference that we have between the grades is that the shift plate and the door lock bezels are all new material. If you've been in a 15 or a little bit older than that, you'll know that we have a laser kind of etch pattern on there. Customers thought that was a little bit out of touch with the styling of this car, so we've updated this and it looks a lot more premium. We have all of these available to see today. Thank <laughs> you.